I'm at the range today to compare a few different platforms as well as showcase uh, the 155 smokestack and 105 MST. I'm about 20 yards away. I have a steel spinning target with another camera set up to hopefully capture a good perspective of how far the steel gets pushed back by each of these uh, different platforms. At the top, I have a nine millimeter, 147 grain projectile going approximately a thousand feet a second. So it should be fairly uh, subsonic. Next is a 300 blackout, a 220 grain projectile going approximately a thousand feet a second. And last is a 10 millimeter with a 230 grain projectile going approximately a thousand feet a second. I just wanted to do a quick head to head test and see how the steel reacts and how much energy we're actually delivering comparing the three different platforms. For the MST products, on the left is a smokestack. That's the 155 MST smokestack. In the center is the Rimfire 105 LT MST. And of course, on the right is our tried and true 155 MST. Here we can see the results from left to right, nine millimeter versus 10 millimeter versus 300 blackout. It looks like 10 millimeter is pushing just a little harder than the others. Now finally in the lineup is the 105 MST. This kit comes with a jig that allows for mouse holes to be drilled into the side of each baffle. I took the opportunity to do that in four of my baffles. The first video you will see next is the four baffles without the mouse holes, followed by four baffles with the mouse holes. In conclusion, I hope you've enjoyed observing some more MST JK Armament products, the Smokestack, the 105 MST, and of course the 155 MST. Thanks for joining me today and I hope to see you at the range.